Hi guys, it's Emily from Aussie Debt Free Girl back with another video for you. This is part of our $50 for 7 nights of dinners at Woolworth series that we're doing or challenge. Um, we've done already nights 1 and 2. You can do them in whatever order. I did kind of meal prep the first one when I made the pumpkin soup. I made the pumpkin risotto at the same time just because I knew I have a really busy week going with lots of appointments. So having that ready to go when we got home was really Really helpful now today we're doing some more prep as well we are going to be prepping the chicken some people are concerned because I only had 800 grams of pork mince and a whole chicken for my family of five well four and a toddler so I would say it still counts as a family of four because we put my two smaller ones together and they're a whole adult serving um, so we're going to prep the chicken. This is actually going to go across two meals. This is going to be the white chicken curry and a chicken and vegetable meal. Um, I did end up having what I thought was too much chicken for the chicken and vegetables. So I took some away and put it to the white chicken chili. Although the white chicken chili, you can probably use a lot less chicken. I usually only use a single chicken breast to make a whole batch for us because it goes so far. And because the white chicken chili is a high protein meal in itself because it has a whole packet of cream cheese it has um like i think it's a couple of cups of white beans and it ends up being quite a nutritious and high protein meal with just a single chicken breast i do probably regret that in the end looking back i took one of the thighs away two of the thighs away and put them in the white chicken chili container or packet where I should have probably left them for just a little bit more chicken although we did have a bit left over because my daughter isn't a huge fan of protein in the evenings so we try and get her protein intake done in her breakfast and in her lunches and afternoon tea so yeah fair warning on that uh, if you do not like seeing uh, meat or seeing people touch meat I'm very sorry that's what a lot of the first part of this video is going to be and no, I did not do this in a very good way. Um, I was trying to rush and get a whole bunch of stuff done at once. I was using my kitchen scissors, which were blunt because I think somebody stole them to do some arts and crafts at some point. So I have to get hubby to sharpen those. But generally what I do when I'm butchering up a chicken like this for its parts, so occasionally I will cut out the backbone, take off the legs and thighs, take off the wings, take off the breasts and then um, any like scraps and then boil the bones for the stock. Um, or this time I literally took everything off and pulled all of the meat off of all of the bones, put all the bones into a container or into a pot and cooked that on the stove and that became my chicken stock, which you saw or will see in my videos. Um, Emily from the future, we have kind of paused the com uh, competition, the um, challenge a bit because I actually broke a couple of toes. We've had back-to-back -back appointments and standing on my feet for a long time with my sore toes and foot. There may be something wrong with the small bone in the top of my foot. They're not exactly sure. But basically, I've had to pause, so all of that's in the freezer. Actually, speaking about chicken, this week as I'm recording this, they actually have chicken even cheaper at $4 a kilo, and I've even seen it as low as $2.50 once. Whole chickens are such a good way to save money. My rule is anything under $5, but if it's $4 or under, I will stock up and grab two or grab one every single week. And whether they just go directly into the freezer until I need them. Um, it's especially good on weeks so we don't have a lot of money that I can go into the freezer and just pull out a chicken. I basically shop in my freezer, which you've seen those videos on here before if you've been around for a while. But even just going in and grabbing some cheap $5 ones when they're $4 a kilo, some 1.2 kilo chickens, dicing them up. Uh, sometimes I will grab all the legs off and stick them into a bag, all the wings off, stick it into a bag, all the breasts off, stick it into a bag. And then I will just keep that bag in the freezer. And then each week I'll add new breasts, new legs, new wings until I have enough to make a meal of wings or a meal of chicken legs, because that works out to be cheaper than buying chicken legs, one usually, and two, they're larger. And I know where they've been, like come from. I've had a few too many 
uh, issues with buying those two kilo bags of drumsticks from the shops. One, it's not the cheapest. And two, like four out of five times they're bad or almost turned. So this is just how I do it. It's another way to do it. It's another idea. Very much my series and my channel is about take what you like, take what you can use, add it to your life, leave the rest. So unfortunately there is a cat roaming around my backyard right now. So my cat is very excited and making lots of fun noises in the background. I'm sorry if that bothers you, but I've tried to record this video 10 times um, with kids and cats and husbands and a million things to do. Um, we're gonna take what we can get at this point. All right, so there is my chicken all uh, deboned and chopped up. So I've got two breasts here and I've got the meat off of like the legs, um, the wings, that's a thigh right there, which I need to cut up. Uh, there's tenders in there. That's a bit of chicken, uh, chicken leg. All that, you saw it. Um, I'm gonna go through and take any bits of skin I missed, any bits of fat I missed, and they're gonna go into here. This is all my scraps. There's the bones and the scraps and the ends of the wings because that's just too fiddly for me to get the meat off. There's still a bit of meat in there. This will be boiled with salt, pepper, garlic, onion, scraps, um, probably those carrot scraps so they don't go to waste. And this will become chicken stock for future meals. Um, so this, these, I'll probably do these two breasts for the chicken and vegetable meal and then I'll dice all this up and this will be actually more chicken than I usually use in my chicken, white chicken chili anyway. Alright, so we've got um, the stuff from the fridge right here, got our onions, carrots, cream cheese, we've got our beans all soaked, we've got our chicken stock here. We got our corn, we got our chicken. There's also two thighs there. This is all diced up. We've got our, we've got our potato soaking and the rest over there. We have these scraps. I'm gonna go in there. I'm gonna put some garlic in there, salt, pepper. I'm going to make these meals. There we go. So I have a kilo of mixed veggies. I'm going to split it between these two containers because as far as I remember, I only have two meals for the mixed veggies and they were just an extra way to add veg. So that's what I'm going to do. One for this meal and one for the Swedish meatballs. I am going to cut my chicken breasts in half this way. As you can see, I'm going to cut them in half this way, which will give me more. And then I haven't decided whether I'm going to use the thighs yet or not. So we have a chicken stock cube, salt, pepper, garlic, bit of oil in there, and then the chicken's going to go in. I peeled all the potatoes because I don't want to do it twice. So I'm going to make a big pot of potatoes and do a half for each meal. So, yay. So I forgot I was meant to be making a potato and leek soup or potato and onion soup to turn into sauce for the chicken, but I grabbed out a few potatoes. Um, so I'm gonna do that really quickly in the Thermomix and yeah, stay tuned for that. So I've got, I don't know, a tablespoon of garlic and an onion. I'm gonna blitz that up, saute it. And then I'm gonna add chicken stock to the bottom potatoes, onions, cook that, and then blitz it up into a soup with salt and pepper. Since it's here, since it's hot, and also to save my stock cubes for other things, I'm going to just use the stock that I have boiling on the stove in my potato and leek soup, and then I'll just top it up with water to keep boiling. So I've added my hot chicken stock that I'm boiling. I've got my onions and my potatoes, and now it's gonna go on to cook. My camera actually died at this point, so I sent a kid to go and plug it into charge and I grabbed my mobile so I could quickly record the last part of making the sauce, of the soup into sauce for you guys. Uh, that's a TikTok on my TikTok and obviously it's got copyrighted music. So there it is, this is how I did it. And let's keep going. 
Here is obviously where I should have left those two chicken thighs in. It would have been the absolute perfect amount. I would have felt very comfortable with the portion sizes. I did feel like we were a little light on the portion sizes on the chicken for this one, again, because I made that last minute decision to throw it into the white chicken chili packet. Um, but again, like I said, for my family, my daughter especially doesn't like to have too much protein or meat at the evening time. It's pretty straightforward from here. We're going to grill the marinated chicken in my awesome Cosmic Cookware pans. We're going to boil the veggies, which I've already done, and we're going to serve everything up. So we've got our mashed potatoes, we got our vegetables, and we got our chicken. And then we have our sauce, potato leek and Dijon sauce, and there's our meal. Now it's as simple as serving everything up and telling everybody to get ready for dinner. That stock will continue uh, going on the stove for the next couple of hours while I'm awake, while I clean the kitchen, while I put everything away. And sometimes I leave it overnight, depending, um, but I'm probably going to put it away tonight just because I don't want to leave it out and going while the kids might get up in the middle of the night or something. Um, I've left it on overnight in the slow cooker as well, uh, but I don't want to clean that. And for those that asked in a previous video, this song is called Save Yourself by King Sis, and I get it from Epidemic Sound. I don't want to be crazy no more. Every time I think you're gonna walk out of my door I start to jump to the conclusion you don't love me no more Babe, give me something to work with, can you just reassure now I have topped up with water I did use the stock for the potato and leek soup so I've added more water and that'll keep going overnight the kids are yelling in the background you're gonna hear it it is what it is leftover we have mashed potatoes we have potato and leek soup there's probably two bowls there maybe one and a half that'll be leftovers and we have our Dijon mustard sauce that I may or may not use for something we also have excuse the dirty floor we also have uh, stock going over here. It's been going for about three hours. I have topped it up with water. I used the stock to make the potato and leek soup to save my stock cubes. I'm gonna to top it up with some more water and turn it down before I go to bed.
I did also end up adding a little water to the pan after I finished doing the grilled chicken and letting that lift any of that beautiful brown caramelized flavor on the bottom of the pan and dumping that into the stock, which also gave it this dark brown color and increased the flavor. Really, all these little things add up to big flavor, which means you need less seasoning, which means you need less ingredients, which makes better tasting food. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the notification bell to be notified when I post new videos, and I will catch you in the next video.